Okay, uh, hi guys. So today we're gonna focus our lesson on this Saturday school uh, on quadratic formulas. Okay, so still solving quadratic equations, but this one uses quadratic formula. Okay, so what is quadratic formula? So this is another technique of solving quadratic equations. Okay, so again, when we solve quadratic equations, means again we're finding the roots of the equation. Remember that. Also, graphically, okay, this is where the graph of the parabola, which is the equation of a the graph of a quadratic equation, crosses the x-axis. Okay. Now, as we all know, when we try to use uh, the techniques that we discussed before, there are always three possible answers. What is one? You have two solutions. Okay, we can have one solution or sometimes no solution at all. Okay, so by definition, we're gonna define okay what the quadratic formula is. Okay, so. The definition. So for any quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Okay, it has to be the equation k okay, equal to zero. Okay, so the roots of the equation can be found using the quadratic formula. Okay, which is given by okay, x equals negative b plus and minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So where a, b, and c are the coefficients of the quadratic equation. So you're talking about this a, b, and c. All you got to do is just simply plug them in, okay? Okay, let's have an example. So let's say, for example, solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 21x equals negative 68, okay? Now this one, the equation is not equal to zero. So I have to put the negative 68, you see the negative 68 over here, Put it onto the other side. So if it's negative, if I put it on the side, it becomes positive. So that gives you positive 68 equal to zero, which means our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is one, b, which is the coefficient of x, which is 21, and c, which is the constant, which is simply 68. Now, once you identify already what um, a, b, and c are, then you can just simply plug it into the formula. Okay, so plug into the formula x equals negative b plus and minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, so plug it in. You get now negative of 21 plus and minus square root of 21 squared minus 4 times 1 times 68. So you're going to use your calculator here over 2 times 1. Okay, so if I continue working on that, so 21 squared is 441. And if I multiply this 3, that gives me 272. Okay, and then 2 times 1 gives me 2. Simplify, I get negative 21 plus and minus the square root of 169 over 2. But the square root of 169 is actually what? 13. So it's 20, negative 21 plus and minus 13 over 2. This separates us to two equations, okay? That is, you have negative 21 plus 13 over 2, which is negative 8 over 2, which is actually equal to negative 4. And negative 21 minus 13 over 2, which is negative 34 over 2, which is negative 17. So here you have two solutions, which is negative 4 and negative 17. Okay? Let's go on to another example. Here, let's solve 2x squared plus 7x plus 5 equal to 0. Okay? So if you notice... It's already equal to zero, so it's easily, you can identify A as two, B as seven, and C as five, okay? So all you gotta do is just simply plug them into the formula, right? Substitute. So it's negative B plus and minus B squared minus four AC over two A. So negative of seven plus and minus seven squared minus four A, two, and C, which is equal to five, divided by two A, or two times two. Now, 7 squared is 49 here, and 4 times 2 times 5 is 40. So 49 minus 40 is 9. So that gives you negative 7 plus and minus the square root of 9. Square root of 9 is actually what? 3. Okay? So you have two answers. One is negative 7 plus 3 over 4, which is negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. And negative 7 minus 3 over 4, which is actually negative 10 over 4, or... Both are divisible by 2, which means it's negative 5 over 2. So you have, again, two real solutions, okay, which is negative 1 and negative 5 over 2 or 2.5, okay? 
Let's have another example, okay? This one, answers are irrational. We mean, okay, the, ex the square root is not exact, okay? So, based from here, okay, you're going to solve 2x squared plus 7x minus 11, okay? Always remember, the right side should always be 0. So, if you encounter equations that's not equal to 0, then rearrange them. And then if you need to combine terms, you combine terms, okay? So in this case, you don't have to do those because it's already equal to zero, okay? So here A is two, B is seven, and C is negative 11. So again, plug it into the formula. Again, formula is negative B plus and minus B squared of B squared minus four AC over two A. So plug those values in. So it's negative seven plus and minus seven squared minus four times two times negative 11, okay, over two times two. Okay, two, two times two gives you four right here. And 7 squared is 49. Notice this is negative, okay? Negative times a negative, so it becomes a positive. So 4 times 2 times 11, that gives you positive 88, okay? And then when you simplify 49 plus 88, that gives you 137, okay? So these are your two answers. So negative 7 plus 137 over 4. And negative 7 minus square root of 137 over Four. So notice you can't get the square root of these. So this becomes irrational. Okay. Next example. Okay. So next example, imaginary roots. So these are the root, the answers that contain i. Okay. So using that. So solve the equation. You get now x squared plus 7x plus 13 equal to 0. Okay. So again, a is 1, b is 7, and c is 13. Then plug it into the equation. Okay. So that's going to be negative 7 plus and minus square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 13 over 2 times 1. So 7 squared is, again, 49. Now 4 times 1 times 13 is 52, okay? So I'm copying negative 7 to be negative 7. So here, 49 minus 52 is a negative number, which is negative 3, okay? So it's negative 7 plus and minus the square root of negative 3. So here, I can separate, again, negative 3 as negative 3 times uh, 3 times uh, negative 1, where um, square root of negative 1 gives me i. So my answer would now be negative 7 plus and minus square root of 3 times i over 2. Okay? So this ends my discussion, okay, for quadratic formula, okay? So what you're going to do, okay, is you're going to work on two things. Okay, you're going to do delta math. Your online classwork would be delta math. Okay, it's already posted in there. Okay, I'll, it's going to start on the 28th, which is um, on Saturday. So the time that we meet, okay, it starts, uh, but the deadline is on Sunday midnight. Okay. But while you're doing that, that's, for, that's just for practice. What we're going to do is actually the quiz. Okay, there's a quiz. So there's a quiz on Schoology, which is on Saturday, wherein we meet. Okay? So it will open on March, on this Saturday. Okay? And will end 5 p.m. same day. So this one I got to be strict, strict. Okay? So if you miss this, okay, make sure that you're going to tell me. Okay? So that's it. Okay.